Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and I wanted to go through and give you this week's focus for the Finding 52. And the focus is kind of different this week. Um, it is more of just being okay with everything, no matter what it is. <laughs> Even your hair, when it kind of looks like the flying nun. <laughs> um, it has been a month, as of today, that I started working from home. I never thought that it would be a month. I uh, kind of thought, all right, well, it's going to be a couple of weeks and we'll be back, you know. Yeah, no, we have, uh, it's been exactly a month and I have no idea when the university is going to go back to having people on campus. I have run the gamut of being super productive to leveling out and just laying on the couch and, you know, watching Netflix and being okay with that. Um, yesterday was my 13 year anniversary for um, my gastric bypass. And on a crazy ass whim, I decided to run a half marathon. So, you know, I think everybody has to kind of figure out where their level of being okay is. And I can't tell you what that is. Experts can't tell you what that is. Only you can kind of decide that. You know, and I have, I have tried to give guidance, I guess. I don't really think of it as advice, just kind of helpful things, you know, from a lot of different places. And what I've kind of come down to is however you're, you have to get through this is okay. And being okay is perfectly fine. You don't have to clean your entire house. Goodness knows, I certainly have not. You don't have to do your planner. You don't have to write in your journal. You don't have to do anything. Um, there is no precedence for this. And just because some people like me use goals and lists and planners and all of that to get through this, that's just for me. And so a lot of people can't compare apples to apples. So, you know, if you do not thrive having a goal, that's okay. If you thrive sitting on the couch and processing everything and doing things differently, that's okay. You know, I, I am very lucky that I have my husband and my pets here and that I still have a job that I get to do. And even with that, it is extremely hard to get through day to day. And, you know, I deal with it differently than somebody else that is in the exact same situation that I am in. You know, there is no wrong answer, just like there's no right answer for any of this, because none of us have gone through this before. And so trying to put what you should do, what you can do, all of this, you know, it's all options. Options. Options are good. And what you do one week can be something completely different than what you do the next week. Um, yesterday was my 13th year anniversary of my gastric bypass. It had been 13 years. And I woke up thinking I'm not doing anything. I am, I'm about 13 pounds over where I want to be. Um, my, my average weight was between 220 and 224 normally. And I could keep that balance range, you know, just depending on the day. And yesterday I woke up at, or this morning, I woke up at 233.4, which is down from where I was a week ago, which was 238 pounds. So I am quite happy <laughs> that that is going down. 
but I was not ready to do pictures or comparisons or anything. And I thought year 13 would be my big, you know, comparison year and everything would have been go going right and I would be exactly where I wanted to be. And I woke up yesterday, not where I wanted to be. And it was a little disconcerting. And what I decided to do was run a half marathon. So there are times when there are things that kind of make you lose your mind. And while I am very happy that I did it and very excited that I did it, I'm like, that was a little wackadoo. Just a little bit going off the deep end. But that's okay too. It was something that kind of spurned me to into action. And I needed that at that point in time. It made me feel better. It made, I mean, even though all of last night I was like walking around like a crazy old lady. Like, oh my God, what did I do to myself? But this morning, excuse me, I feel just fine. But... You know, whether you wake up in the morning and you decide to clean out your closet, you decide to shave your head, you decide to do whatever. Guess what? That was your decision. And there is no right or wrong in this pandemic. This is not a competition about who can be the most productive. Um, even though some of us out there are very competitive and like getting things done, love crossing things off my list, love writing things down on a list and then crossing them off, whether I've done them or if, I've, if it was, I've already done them, I've already gotten everything down and if it wasn't on the list, I'm still putting on there just so I can draw a line through it. Honest to goodness. <laughs> I call those my ta-da's. <laughs> Ta-da! Already done. But, you know, we each have to figure out how we can be okay in this particular time frame. And, you know, many people have said, it's not the new normal, it's the new now. And that is the key, is focusing on the now. What can you do to be okay? You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be productive. You don't have to be, you know, Marie, Marie Kondo your whole house. That is just an idea. And some of those ideas are horrible. Like running a half marathon when you've only been running two miles a day. <laughs> so, it's okay to be okay. It's okay to not want to do every little thing in your house. It's okay if you want to wait until the world has calmed down to clean out your garage. It's okay if there are clothes laying around in your guest room. It's okay. Because you will get to them when you get to them. When you are ready for that. I have a whole um, uh, wool project kit that I ordered. I have a leatherworking kit that I ordered. I have a bookmaking kit that I ordered. Have I opened any of them? More than to just look at it? No. No, I haven't. Have I put one single recipe into the recipe book that I searched high and low for? <laughs> no. Although, I am making banana bread today. And I realized that I'm like, oh, I have enough time. I should put that into my recipe book. And as soon as this video gets done, I'm going downstairs to get that recipe book and write that first recipe in there. Because I finally have it perfected the way my husband loves it and the way I love it. And I'm like... Now's the time. Let's put our first recipe in that recipe book that took me forever to find. <laughs> so, am I disappointed in myself that I haven't done any of that? No. I am happy that I have that to do at any point in time, whenever I'm ready. Am I going to beat myself up for, you know, buying something or doing something else other than being productive? No, I'm not. 
Am I going to give myself a little bit of help because I decided on a whim to run a half marathon? No. I'm very happy I did it. Will I decide to do that again anytime soon? No. <laughs> like today was recovery and I went a mile. I got to my turnaround and I'm like, you know, I could probably get, and then I, like halfway through it, the other part of my brain was like, will you just shut up? No, we're doing a mile. Turn your ass around and walk back home. Sometimes that's how that happens. Have there been times that I just wanted to shave my entire head? Yes, because my hair is making me crazy. It's all just so, so long, so long. I have tried everything. I've tried the curly girl method. I have tried curling it. I have tried blowing it out straight. It all just ends up funky. The fact that I am not dyeing my hair until we go back to work is the only thing that's keeping me intrigued enough to figure out just how much gray is in my hair right now. How gray is it? Amy, how gray is it? So that's what I'm doing and I'm just letting it go. Will it make me nuts? Yeah. Not enough for me to cut it all off. I hope. <laughs> I will tell you now, there could be a moment in time when I lose my mind and uh, a, there might be a video of where I have shaved my head. I can't tell you no. But what I can tell you is that I have will I will have thought that one through because as much as my hair is making me crazy, I also love the fact that it's getting longer and I miss my long hair immensely. And so I'm like, I will just let it go. And that way, when the time comes, it will be long enough for me to do with it what I want to do with it. That's my answer today. Will my answer be something different tomorrow? Maybe. And I'm okay with that. I am okay with getting by and figuring this out day to day. And not worrying about what's going to happen a week from now. Not worrying about what's going to happen two weeks from now. Not worrying about what happens two months from now. I am okay with it just being okay. I'm okay not having future plans. I'm like, I, I any plans that I make right now or that you make or somebody else makes could all change because we don't know what's going to happen. And so if we can't control what's going to happen, why worry about it? So back in a few weeks ago, it was worry about the things you can change. Don't worry about the things you can't. Be kind to yourself. You know, a lot of our past focuses are coming into play. Exercise, sleep, being kind to yourself, self-esteem, self-worth, self-everything. So today, this week's goal is to just be okay. Just get through the week. Be okay. Figure out what it takes to just be okay. You know, don't worry about being productive, having goals, whatever. Just figure out what you need to be okay. And do that. Because that's what's going to make you okay. And no matter what I, I can tell you, only you can make that decision. And so... It doesn't have to be productive. It doesn't have to be, you know, polished. It doesn't have to be anything other than what you want it to be. Because, like I said, we're all going through this together. And we are all trying the best that we can. I am always going to fall to the goal-oriented position. Because that's what drives me. But... That's not necessarily what drives other people. Just like going out and seeing people and 
getting the vibes off of people and energy off of people and having that whole social extroverted fantastico frenzy is what I need. That's what I crave. I cannot even comprehend not seeing people, not being around people. I mean, I can a little bit now because, you know, that's where we're at. But I cannot really identify with the introverted side of folks. And so that it, we are all different and that's all right. That's part of the beauty of humanity is to just be yourself and understand that that is okay. As long as you're not breaking laws or, you know, harming other people, that's not okay. Just so we're clear. But, you know, whatever it takes for you to get through the day is okay. Because we are all in a strange new world. And even though it is the new now, I don't know if we'll ever go back to the new normal or the old normal. Everybody will be different going forward. And that's okay. You know, we will all have to relearn certain social skills, cer certain aspects of our lives, but it will all be different. And so trying to hold on to what we have right now is all right, because that's what we've got. So it's basically just to do your best to get through the week and try not to put undue stress on yourself, trying to match other people's productivity or efficiency or level of cleaning or whatever. Because I can tell you, I am sure 98.7% of the entire world has a cleaner house than me right now. But you know what? I ran a half marathon yesterday. <laughs> So my priorities are a little bit different than a lot of people's. The way I deal with stress is a lot different than other people's. I don't know too many people that take a sword and go out the backyard and beat down a kind of a weird tire pole man. <laughs> you know, I know a lot of people that actually do that, but probably not a lot of you guys out there watching me do that. So however you can get through the week, is okay. And that's just where I want it to be is just be okay. Because that's all we can ask. I don't care if you learn a new skill. I don't care if you sit on your couch and watch the entire world series of golf. It doesn't matter. Whatever will get you through the week and keep the stress off of you is what you should do. So it's okay to be okay. That's what I got because I'm trying my best to be okay. Which evidently involves running a half marathon. <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you guys have had a good weekend, a good Easter uh, for those of you who celebrate. And I uh, did not do a lot this weekend. I gamed a little bit. I watched television and I just relaxed aside from running 13.3 miles on a win. Anyway, um, reach out to those folks that you love and care about if you haven't or if you have. Just do it a little extra. Maybe that'll help. And try to defeat the comparison monster because Ain't nobody got time for that. Not even now. We ain't got time for that. So, uh, I am, I wanted to say thank you to those folks who joined me on the Zoom call on Friday. And I'm hoping to do that again this Friday. So, I will post the information, um, hopefully a little bit earlier in the day on Friday. I was worried that I was going to post it and, and it wouldn't work. And I was just like, ah, I don't know. 
So I'm still working on trying to figure out how to get the Zoom call into Facebook Live. I'm hopefully going to get some help with that later on this week. So, but on Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, I will do another Zoom call. And uh, I hope you can join me. And as for everybody else, that's okay if you can't. I will have one next week too. So as always, spend the rest of your life celebrating. And uh, just know that it is worth every moment. And take some time this week. Figure out what it is that you need to be okay. And try it. That's it. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I will talk to you guys on Monday. Bye.